Throughout history, there have been many different upstanders committed to obtaining justice for their people. They fight hard through hardship and overcome struggles to help those in need and make the world a more equitable place. Although he is not the most famous upstander, Chief Standing Bear of the Ponca tribe was an upstander who helped Native Americans obtain rights they were denied by the United States government. Chief Standing Bear was brave, loyal, intelligent, and committed to justice and is an example for all of us about how we should act. Chief Standing Bear was born around 1829 at the Niobrara River in Nebraska to the Ponca tribe. As he got older, he assumed leadership of his tribe around 1860. But a few years earlier, in 1859, the Kansas-Nebraska Act was signed which led to a flood of white settlers to come onto their land. As a result, around 1862, white settlers settled onto the Ponca land at the Niobrara River. The government kept pressuring the Ponca tribe to give away their land and did so after accidentally including the Ponca land in a treaty with the Sioux tribe. Sandy Bear protested this and tried to get a better deal for the Ponca, but agreed to an unfair one after Mint's translation. The U.S. government then forced the Ponca to move on a brutal 400-mile tra trail to Oklahoma with nine of them dying on the way. Once there, one-third of the tribe died of malaria and malnutrition, including Stanley Bear's own son, Bear Shield. Bear Shield's last wish was to be buried in the Ponca homeland, so Standing Bear and some of his followers broke the law and went on to their land without permission to bury Standing Bear's son. He was eventually caught leaving his designated territory, but managed to convince his captor, General George Cook, to help his tribe by telling the Ponca story of hard and disease-stricken relocation. After being persuaded by Standing Bear's inspiring story, George Cook helped Standing Bear spread the story across the country and take legal action against the government. During this case, Standing Bear gave compelling evidence to justify his beliefs. During the trial, Standing Bear argued, quote, that my hand is not the color of yours, but if I prick it, the blood will flow and I shall feel pain. My blood is of the same color as yours. God made me and I am a man. The judge ruled in favor of Standing Bear, agreeing that the government's actions were wrong and that he had rights like others, giving all Native Americans rights they previously didn't have. By expressing his beliefs and arguments, Standing Bear legally helped Native Americans get rights and be better respected by the government. Unfortunately, many Native Americans were still mistreated, so even after the court case, Standing Bear still worked to improve life for Native Americans. From 1879 to 1883, Standing Bear went on a lecture tour in Europe and the eastern United States to raise awareness about the Ponca suffering in the Oklahoma Reservation and Native Americans' general lack of promised supplies. He also worked hard for many years to get the attention of the government and get all the Ponca to live on their original land. He eventually accomplished this and during the Hayes administration, the entire tribe. Ponca was permitted to live and regain their land. Standing Bird died of oral cancer in 1908 and was buried alongside his ancestors on a hill overlooking his birthplace. Due to his contributions to Native Americans in the United States, Standing Bear was honored with a lake and a bridge called Chief Standing Bear Memorial Bridge named after him. Additionally, six North Central tribes in Oklahoma made the Standing Bear Foundation in honor of him, which holds an annual powwow to bring tribes and the whole community together. He recently got a statue in the Capitol as one of the two representing Nebraska. Chief Standing Bear was an upstander who had an important role in getting Native Americans more equal status. If it were not for him, the Ponca tribe and many other Native American tribes would not have equal rights and would be suffering in reservations. Chief Standing Bear's work for the Native American people helped influence millions of lives for the better and is a perfect example of how we should all act.